Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Live. Today is 7th June. Here I will discuss all the important questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So watch the video very carefully and try to answer the question asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the latest current affairs from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as telegram groups. Also you can find the link for the Hindi version of this video in the below given description box. The link for the Hindi current affairs is given there. Before moving forward, let's check the answer for the question asked in the last video. Who proposed the interlinking rivers across the country to ease the irrigation and drinking water crisis? The correct answer is option C, late former PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Now, let's begin our session for today. Before moving to our question and answer session, here are the important topics we will be dis we will be discussing today. RBI reduces 25 BPF of repo rate. DRDO test fired Brahmos. India ranks 95 in SDG gender index. Mumbai ranked first in traffic index 2018. Bihar waived off 50% tax of e-rickshaws. Now let us begin our session for today. Here comes our question number one. Reserve Bank of India reduced the repo rate by dash to 5.75% in order to address growth concerns. The correct answer is option D 25 BPS. The Reserve Bank of India's Monetary Policy Committee reduced interest rate by 25 basis points to 5.75% with immediate effect aimed slowing economic growth and rising global uncertainty for the third time in a row. RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das announced it in the second bi-monthly monetary policy statement for 2019-20. The reduction is expected to bring down the EMIs on home and auto loans and reduce the debt repayment burden on corporates. What is repo rate? Repo rate is the rate at which the central bank of country lends money to commercial bank in the event of any shortfall of funds. It is used by monetary authorities to control inflation. The money can be borrowed for about 7 to 14 days from the Reserve Bank of India. The policy rates and reserve ratios are Policy repo rate is 5.75%, reverse repo rate is 5.50%, Marginal standing facility rate is 6%, bank rate is 6%, cash reserve ratio is 4% and statutory liquidity ratio is 19%. Heading to our question number 2. India test fired BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from Dash. The correct answer is Option D. Chandipur, Odisha. Supersonic cruise missile BrahMos was test fired from the integrated test range at Chandipur in Odisha. Anti-ship version of the missile launched by Complex 3 of ITR, Defense Research and Development Sources. World's fastest supersonic cruise missile with high rate of accuracy. Missile is fired from land, sea and air. The missile with a strike range of around 290 km is a strategic asset for India which act as deterrence agent any possible threat from China and Pakistan. BrahMos is a joint venture between DRDO and NPOM, a Russian military technology firm of Russia. BrahMos operationalized in Indian Army, Indian Navy and Indian Air Force. Now let me share few more information about BrahMos. The speed is Mach 2.8 to Mach 3. The unit cost US dollar 2.73 million. The place of origin is India and Russia. The manufacturer is Brahmos Aerospace Limited. Heading to our question number 3. India ranks dash out of 129 countries in the Sustainable Development Goals Gender Index 2019. The correct answer is option C. 95. India ranked 95th out of 129 countries in Sustainable Development Goals Gender Index, a new index that measures global gender equality looking at aspects such as poverty, health, education, literacy, 
political representation and equality at the workplace. India's score of 56.2 on a scale of 0 to 100. The Sustainable Development Goals Gender Index has been developed by UK-based Equal Measures 2030, a joint effort of regional and global organizations. The new index includes 51 indicators and covers 129 countries across all regions of the world. Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Netherlands, Slovenia, Germany, Canada, Ireland and Australia ranked as the top 10 countries in the index while the bottom 10 comprises Sierra Leone, Liberia, Nigeria, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Yemen, Congo, DR Congo and Chad. Heading to our question number 4. What is the name of the virus where Health Minister Dr. Harshwadhan reviewed its status in New Delhi recently? The correct answer is Option A. Nipah virus. Union Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harshwardhan reviewed the status of Nipah virus disease in New Delhi. A total of 316 contacts were being followed up on a daily basis. One positive case admitted in Ernakulam is now conscious and having mild fever and six symptomatic contacts have been admitted in the quarantine facility at the medical college and all the samples were found to be negative. A sample from one symptomatic contact sent to an IV lab. Strategic Health Operations Centre at NCDC has been activated and the activities are coordinated. 40 calls have been attended at SHOC NCDC regarding Nipah information. District control room has been set up in the collector office. The helpline number is 0484-2425-200. Joint Commissioner deployed two experts to Ednakulam, Kerala to support local animal husbandry department in the investigation. On the basis of epidemiological investigation, team from NIV Pune and Animal Husbandry are investigating bats and other animals in the vicinity of this residence during the possible time of transmission of infection. The main basis epidemiological investigation team from National Institute of Virology Pune and Animal Husbandry are investigating bats and other animals in the vicinity of confirmed case residents. Nipah virus is a genus of RNA viruses belong to the family Paramyxoviridae and Mononega virals containing five established species. Henipa viruses are naturally harbored by Tiropid fruit bats and microbats of several species. The specific name is Henipa virus. The rank is genus. Higher classification is Paramyxoviridia. Heading to our question number 5. Who is elected as the new president of the United Nations General Assembly? The correct answer is Option B. Tijani Muhammad Bande. Nigeria's ambassador to the UN Tijani Muhammad Bande elected as the next president of 74th session UN General Assembly. In accordance with the rules, the president of the 74th session of the General Assembly should be elected from among the African states. He will succeed Maria Fernanda Espinosa. He assumes charge as the world body gets ready to celebrate the 75th anniversary of its creation in 2020. India offered its support to Mohamed Bande's candidature. Mohamed Bande said that his presidency will focus on peace and security, poverty eradication, zero hunger, quality education, climate action. Now let me share few more information about United Nations General Assembly. It was formed on 1945. The president is Tijani Mohamed Bande. India's permanent representative to UN is Syed Akbardin. Heading to our question number 6. Which city ranked first in the study? Traffic Index 2018 as most congested. The correct answer is Option A. Mumbai An analysis of traffic congestion done in more 400 cities across 6 continents has found that commuter commuters in Mumbai spent the most time in the road last year. Mumbai ranked first in the study Traffic Index 2018 by Location Technology Specialist Tom Tom with a congestion level of 65%. New Delhi ranked 4th with a congestion level of 58%. Mumbai held on to the top rank of the second consecutive year, beat Bogota, 
Lima and Moscow. Overall study covered 403 cities in 56 countries and defined congestion as the extra time added to road travel when traffic does not flow freely. The best time in Mumbai without any congestion would be 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. when traffic flowed freely. The peak hours between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. resulted in a congestion of 80% which shot up to 1 or 2 percent between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. when offices shut for the day. August 21 considered as the worst day to be on the road bringing traffic movement to a complete standstill for the better part of the day leading to a condition of 111 percent. They suggested expanding the scope of the city's public transport network in order to provide end-to-end -end connectivity and businesses to provide flexible working hours to employees to ease traffic moving towards the suburbs. Moving to our question number 7. Who is appointed as the chairman of the cabinet committee on parliamentary affairs in the second term of the NDA government? The correct answer is Option A. Rajnath Singh Defence Minister Rajnath Singh is to chair the Cabinet Committee on Parliamentary Affairs in the second term of the NDA government. The panel takes all decisions pertaining to Parliament matters. He was made a member of Cabinet Committee on Security and Cabinet Committee on Employment and Skill Development. He is also a part of the Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs, all important panel on political affairs which is headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. All important political decision in the ruling dispensions will be taken by the panel. Apart from these four committees, he is also a member of the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs and the Cabinet Committee on Security. In total, he is now a part of six key panels of the government. In the last government, Rajnath Singh headed the Cabinet Committee on Parliamentary Affairs. Which company ties up with Surya Dai Small Finance Bank for vehicle loans? The correct answer is option B, Ashok Leyland. Ashok Leyland partnered with Suryoday Small Finance Bank for vehicle loans. The two partners have signed an initial agreement to enter a strategic financing partnership for three years. Under the agreement, the bank will provide end-to-end -end financial solution to Ashok Leyland's customers for auto loans across India. Suryoday Small Finance Bank will benefit their customer with financial products and with hassle-free experiences. Now let me share a few more information about Suryoday Small Finance Bank. The chairperson is Dr. Mrs. Sheila Bith. It was founded in the year 2008. Now let me share a few more information about Ashok Leyland. The parent organization is Hinduja Group. It is headquartered in Chennai. The founder is Raghunandan Saran. The subsidiaries are Obtaining Ashok Leyland Defence System. Heading to our question number 9. Which state has waived off 50% of total taxes levied on e rickshaws as measure to combat air pollution in the state? The correct answer is option D Bihar. The Bihar state government has announced to waive off 50% of total taxes levied on the purchase and running of battery propelled e-rickshaws. E -rickshaw the move is to combat air pollution. The announcement was made by the Deputy Chief Minister of State Sushil Kumar Modi. Three cities of Bihar named the Patna, Gaya, Muzaffarpur is placed among the most 20 polluted city of the world in a report by the World Health Organization. Seven departments of the state government has collectively prepared an integrated action plan to tackle the menace of pollution in the polluted cities of Bihar. Also, the state has made arrangements in 45 fuel refilling centers in Patna alone to check the pollution emission from vehicle at over 500 fuel refilling centers in addition to run eco-friendly electric buses. Now heading to our last question, question number 10. Which metro becomes India's first project to receive power from waste to energy? The correct answer is option C, Delhi Metro. Delhi Metro became the first ever project in the country to receive power generated from a waste to energy plant. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation receiving 2 million watt power from a 12 million watt capacity waste to energy plant set up in Ghazipur. It is being utilized at the Vinod Nagar receiving substation for meeting the operational requirements of pink line of Delhi Metro. It will take approximately 17.5 million units per annum from this plant. The energy depends upon the actual generation of the plant. It is set up by East. It is set up by 
East Delhi Waste Processing Company Limited and it is based on a public private partnership involving the Delhi government and East Delhi Municipal Corporation it is based on a public private partnership involving the Delhi government DMRC produces 28 megawatt of solar power from various rooftop solar power plants which have set up in its station depots and residential premises the mass transit operator to receive solar power from the off-site solar power plant at Riva in Madhya Pradesh. The MRC plants 10 trees for each tree. Cross to 4 lakh vehicles are being removed from the streets because of the Delhi Metro station. Now let me share a few more information about Delhi Metro. It is a rapid transit system serving Delhi. The main cities are Gurgan, Noida, Faridabad, Ghaziabad, Bahadurga and Balabgarh in the national capital region of India. It is the largest and busiest metro in India and also the second oldest after Calcutta metro. To conclude this session, here comes the question of the day. Dash is the rate at which the central bank of country lends money to commercial banks in the event of any shortfall of funds. Try to answer the question and drop your answer in the comment box. Okay friends, that's for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you find the information provided in our video useful, Please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs. Dear friends, are you looking for a job? End your search now. Visit freshestlife.com, the next generation of placement network. Register yourself today and get placed in top companies. Until then, this is Freshest Life signing out from current affairs video. Take care.